What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hardwood Huntsman. So today guys, I'm just going to be making a little video on a little like simple tip to hopefully, hopefully, hope, hopefully, hope, hopefully help you. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully help you catch more fish this ice season. So I've been ice fishing for, I don't know, ever since I did walk pretty much. I've been ice fishing for a long time. And one thing I see a lot of new beginner ice fishermen doing is when I take them out ice fishing. So, you know, I just got a rod here, HP Custom Rods, I actually go check them out really quick. You know, let's say they're tying on a hair jig, you know, they just tie it on. Like, oh, look at my little hair jig, it looks like this. And then you drop down the water, you know, they're jigging, they're jigging, it looks like this. Well, one thing I learned over my years of wisdom of ice fishing is they don't, especially finicky fish, they don't like it when it looks like this. Cause this is supposed to be mimic like a little bug or minnow or whatever you want it to mimic. It's supposed to swim like this right here. It's supposed to swim like this because fish swims this way and doesn't swim upwards. So when you tie your knot, tie it like this right here. I don't know if it saw that at all, but tie it. And then for your jig sits like this because then it makes it look a lot more realistic and the fish will want to eat a lot more because it looks a lot more real yeah and sometimes you're not like let's say you hook into a fish and like this and then your knot goes back to this all you got to do just got to take it put it like that it looks so much more realistic and will help you catch so much more fish i promise you it's worked for me and i've caught a lot more fish doing it i just found this out a couple of years ago but it definitely helps me and same with like if i had like a little rod like this here same with this tungsten you want it like this right here. That's hooked on the line, isn't it? There's an old wax room on here. So that the garbage over there. Whatever, it's all on the floor. So yeah, you don't want your tungsten hooked like this while you're jigging in the water because that doesn't look real, right? And if you, especially if you put like a wax worm on here to make it look like a little beetle, you want it to look like that in the water. You want it to sit vertical. Or not vertical, what, I don't even know what I'm. Never mind. You just want it to sit like this in the water right here. A little tungsten, put a little wax worm on there, and you will catch a lot more fish. I've caught a lot more fish when I switched to doing this because, for like, I fish a lot of metro lakes in the Minnesota area. Because, and if you know when you're fishing for panfish in the metro Minnesota lakes, they get a lot, a lot of pressure. And I, I don't know. When I used to go out ice fishing, you know, I didn't really think about it. It's really yeah, just tying a jig, you know, whatever. Just drop it down there, give it a dangle. But yeah, and I wouldn't catch fish. And I was like, well, why is I watching that? So I watched a few other YouTube videos. I don't know exact videos I watch, but if I would, I'd tell you to go check them out too for some other ice fishing tips. But I learned this from older, elderly fishermen that are older than me and been fishing a lot longer than me. If you're fishing finicky fish like this, put your jig so it sits like this when it's in the water not like that that's a little bit too much because then it gets hooked on your line like right like that perfect tip it with a little wax for me catch a lot more fish so guys that was just a little video i want to make here just a tip of the week or whatever i don't know I'll just, I'll, i'm just gonna call it tip of the week hopefully i make one of these videos every week just a new thing i want to try so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here to the channel hit that subscribe button leave a like and leave a comment down below and share the crap out of this video. And yeah, if you want to, if you want us to make more videos on a certain type of fishing or whatever, drop it down in the comments and I'll make them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.